Here we go. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle slammed by Spotify exec after streaming giants access archetypes. What the fuck is an archetype? Did anyone know they had a podcast on Spotify? I didn't know they had a podcast on Spotify. <laughs> no one cares they have a spo- uh, podcast on Spotify. Now, when you're talking about podcast, like Dave Chappelle's podcast or Joe Rogan's podcast, ain't nobody talk, talking about no Meghan Markle and Princess Harry's podcast. What the fuck is that? So they were contracted, paid twenty-five million dollars, I think, for a couple of series of the podcast, and they only did one, and no one watched it. So the executive now has come out and said, "Yo, these people are like they're grifters." If you don't know what a grifter is, it's like a a low tier, a low level swindler. A top Spotify executive has accused Megan and Harry of being effing grifters after they only produced one podcast series before parting ways with the streaming giant. The couple had initially signed a three year deal to produce content for Spotify, with Megan hosting the first series called Archetypes. But after they parted ways with the streaming giant, Bill Simmons, who is head of the podcast innovation and monetization, was quick to heat out at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. (laughs) The effing grifters. That's the podcast we should have launched with them, (laughs) he said in the latest episode of his own podcast on Friday. I've got to get drunk. Oh, man, I've got to get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try and help him with a podcast idea. It's one of my best stories. (laughs) Can't wait to hear that one. Megan's Spotify podcast was axed earlier in the week after it failed to meet targets. Her archetype series, which focused on labels that try to hold women back, will not get a second season. Labels to try to hold women back. When are these people going to learn? Nobody care about this weird ass SJW woke nonsense. All this womenism, feminism, racism, this BLM, all this nonsense. Nobody wants to watch or listen to not crap like that. But they're never going to learn. We don't care. How can you go from the most powerful family in the world? You but you want to be a billy celebrity. She was a billy celebrity at best. She's probably gone far because she's beautiful. Let's just say it as it is. Someone that's been privileged her whole life. See that video when she was in Kenya or whatever, talking about, oh, I feel so good being here because these kids must uh, feel so privileged because they've seen someone that look like them in the world stage. Like, you look, kid, you look like who? Come on, man. Like, I'm black. Like, I'm charcoal black. I'm like, back of the pot black. You're not black, nigga. Come on, stop it. Duchess of Success got a twenty million dollar deal. So you, you you had a deal, you signed a contract with someone, and then you you failed to deliver. Man, these people, man, I just can't stand them. Man, they had a, a little nonsense the other day, where they were in a an award show in New York. Then they had to stage a hot pursuit, or they were being chased down by some bizarre harmful videographers and paparazzi with a camera so they were like oh we had a two hour chase down the highway man come to find out it was only about less than 10 minutes that the paparazzi was trying to take a picture of them he's got harry's got mommy issues and she knows he's got mommy issues and she's playing on that she's what we call a succubus see right there that's a succubus and she's going to suck the life source out of him forever. Because he's got a baby with her now. So that nigga, he's done. He's done. See every picture with them? She's in front and he's behind. Only a modern woman can turn a prince into a cock. This guy's just a cock. Jesus Christ. I bet if he walks in and sees her getting shafted by some dude, he's going to ask, oh, Are you okay? Is everything all right? Oh, you want me to leave? Okay, you want me to lock, lock the door when I leave? Oh, all right, no, no problem, honey. I'll be out there waiting for you when you're through. 
This nigga, man, I can't stand him. I can't stand her.